Look over here. In this case, we have f of g of 2. Now, we know that in reality what this is saying is f of g of 2. You're taking the g of x function, g of x function, you're plugging into the fx function, and we're evaluating for the number 2. Now, when you have a problem like this, we're actually trying to evaluate the composition. So, to me, this kind of makes a little bit more, this is a little bit easier to do than having to deal with the domain because let's just look at this like order of operations. The inside function is g of 2. That's easy, right? Look at f of x, f of 3. That was the easiest thing you guys have done all day, correct? Yeah. So this should be like, ooh, I can do that. I know g of x is equal to 1 over x. So if I want to find out g of 2, then that's just going to be 1 half. That's not that bad, right? I figured that one out. So now, here's where we got to finish this. This is saying f of g of 2. Well, what is g of 2 really equal to? 1 half. Yeah. So now, I can just evaluate this for f of 1 half. And that's not that bad, because we have the f of x function. f of x is equal to square root of x minus 1. Damn. Pick bad numbers. So therefore, f of 1 half is going to be equal to the square root of uh, 1 half minus 1, which is obviously the square root of negative 1 half. Which would equal a number, therefore, it just right. be a But we'll just write it as You can just write a lot. I couldn't see anything in the I know. Sorry. Cassie. Yes. Cassie. 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 Cassie.